So, I'm sorry to have to start this video off on a sad note, but um, this is my last YouTube video um, no, God! being filmed on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Because after months and months and months of researching cameras, I have purchased the Sony A6600. Let's get into it. So welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rod Vester and this is the best place for musicians who want to develop skills on and off the instrument. So if that sounds interesting to you, then consider subscribing. So yes, I have purchased the Sony A6600. Let's get into the unboxing now. In the box, we have manuals, a bunch of them. Shoulder strap. Eyepiece cup. Sony AC adapter. NPFZ100 battery, which effectively doubles battery life to about 720 shots. They're saying about 51 hours. Micro USB cable. The Sony ALC B1EM body cap for E mount cameras. This is the Sony E18 to 135 millimeter lens, f3.5 to 5.6. Spanning a useful wide angle to medium telephoto range, this lens from Sony is a versatile 27 to 202.5 millimeter equivalent zoom for APS-C format E-mount mirrorless cameras. And here is the Sony Alpha A6600 mirrorless digital camera. Body only. The Sony A6600 is the company's top of the line and flagship APS-C mirrorless camera with 24 megapixels of resolution and 4K video capture. It looks a lot like Sony's other 6, 000, A6000 series models at first glance, but this one has the biggest battery and the best build quality of the bunch. Also, it has in-body image stabilization, which is still a rarity among APS-C cameras. In terms of high-speed video recording, the A6600 can record full HD video at up to 120 frames per second and also includes a slow and quick motion mode. The back of the A6600 is pretty crowded. There's not a traditional front command dial on the A6600 like on the A7 series cameras, but rather there's an additional rotating dial surrounding the central OK button to the right of the display. Affording extensive customizable color and gamma controls, the A6600 allows users to adjust the gamma, black level, E, color level, and more. Also, users can use the same S-Log2 gamma curve that is found on high-end Sony cinema cameras that squeezes up to 1300% more dynamic range into the video signal than traditional Rec. 709. We have the SD slash MS Duo card slot. We have the micro HDMI Type-D, also the USB micro B ports, then also lastly, the mic and headphone jacks. The A6600 has a three inch touchscreen LCD that tilts up to 180 degrees to face forward. It's a useful feature for vloggers. This SD card is perfect for shooting 4K UHD video one. I was told that this is the best brand uh, of SD cards to purchase. 
Um, so this is perfect for shooting 4K UHD video one. Spanning a useful wide angle to medium telephoto range, this lens from Sony is a versatile 27 to 202.5 millimeter equivalent zoom for APS-C format E-mount mirrorless cameras. Also helping to produce sharper imagery is a linear autofocus motor, which delivers quick and accurate focusing performance that is also quiet to suit video recording applications. I hope you found this helpful. I am super excited to get started with this camera. So my next video should be of much, much better quality, um, as well as audio quality because I ordered some more things and maybe I'll do an unboxing of that as well. Anyway, thank you for sticking around. See you next week.